So today we're going to be continuing to look at a scenario where civilization starts over and spreads back out across the world. Today's episode is a monumental one as the Americas are going to be discovered. That's right, I leaked the plot point before I even got to it. Very on Aedis Pro of me. Anyway, if you guys do enjoy today's episode, make sure to leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, leave a comment with any suggestions for the series or for the channel, share the video and channel with anyone who might be interested. All this interaction stuff really helps me out, helps us out, and it helps us towards our goal of 200 thousand subscribers in the near future and yeah let's go ahead and just jump straight into this video so in the last video we saw a bunch of different things happening um go check out that video if you haven't seen it because otherwise what are you doing here we had all of scandinavia filled in we saw some british fighting you know the usual the lime team started making moves to become bigger and some things happened over here in east asia but like i said today there's going to be a discovery of america the question is which country is going to be discovering it well we're going to get to that later because the country that will be discovering it isn't really in the position to do so as of now. But after some wars and some, you know, annexation and some other stuff like that, they will be in prime position to go ahead and start their colony. So do let me know in the comments which country you think it's going to be. I'll give you a hint. It's going to be one of the stronger countries. So the stronger countries include like the red team, the lime team, uh, the purple team, the brown team, uh, the yellow team, and pretty much any country that's like fairly large. So like Korea. Anyway, our first event of the video, the purple team will be invading this tiny little light blue country over here. Now, why is the purple team invading this country? Honestly, I don't have a clue. Maybe they want to exert power over smaller countries to make themselves feel better about the fact that their empire is kind of declining. I mean, they did just invade the country that was over here in the last video as well. But nonetheless, they take out this former Swiss country and they are a tiny bit bigger. Also, I do want to say that there's going to be a fairly large war happening happening soon maybe our first um large scale multiple country conflict i mean we've had large conflicts before but this is going to be like big big war and if you haven't been able to tell already i am kind of like paralleling it with like you know real life history but you know with some twists and turns here and there obviously in real life the countries were not this big at this point in time this is like right before colonization so like the 1500s 1600s so that's like the one unrealistic aspect about this series and honestly i can't really do much about it because having too many countries would be a little too chaotic anyway the dutch country that's right we're calling it the dutch country now because someone in the comments made a very good point it's not even like you know the capital is not in germany it's in the netherlands so technically it would be the dutch country so we're gonna be calling it the dutch country but they will also be making a move maybe as a way to show off the purple team but what they're going to be doing is invading this french country whoa they're invading this french country over here and like i said it's probably for the purpose of showing up to the purple team since their relations aren't necessarily friendly they're not like actively hostile towards each other but it's not like you know they're like good old buddies or anything next up we see the consequences of making your border look like this a section of the green norwegian team breaks away and just worsens this whole situation it looks horrible they don't even take this part of norway it's just like a random little part of the norwegian country that's like hundreds of miles from the border well maybe not hundreds of miles no probably hunt maybe i have a bad sense of the direction so i'm not sure but it's far away from the actual country so yeah, it's just some really bad Balkan stuff happening over here in Scandinavia. Anyway, their capital city will be located along the water, and we have ourselves four Nordic countries now. Like I said, we're going to be discovering America in this episode, so uh, we need to fill this in a little bit. Not too much, though. We have this magenta team going north and colonizing some land in Russia slash Mongolia slash China. And this comes as a huge surge of population starts moving to Asia, where it's a lot more peaceful than bloody old Europe. I guess some things never change in history, although historically Asia was not much better the cyan country also does a wee bit of expansion as well yes i just said wee bit i am apparently british and after a few weeks or months we have asia looking something like this now so these countries are becoming fairly large and they're also notably weak someone who isn't weak is the green team and remember in the last episode these countries that surround the green team banded together into an alliance which kind of i guess is against both green teams if you really think about it it's against the original green team which started way over here and had to be forced this way because of certain countries but they could also be against the lime team who we saw expand in the last episode as well and of course also the red team so really these guys are just like sandwiched in between a bunch of powers and they don't want to die so understandably so they're going to band together but with that being said the green team has to look elsewhere for expansion of course they can expand into xinjiang which they will partly do but the thing about this land is that it's not developed well i mean this land isn't developed either but they still want it so the green team will send military forces into the dark cyan team now this is what they're going to be doing they're going to be going around the trade route which is kind of like frowned upon at the time like of course there's no united nations so no one's really like actively 
pushing them to stop this, but it does severely disrupt trade to an extent, and the move is frowned upon by traders all around the world. So this kind of gives the green team a bad rep, but after successfully taking their capital province, they agree to peace with the Dark Scion team, and, uh, well, that's exactly what happens. They agree to peace. Except the peace treaty is slightly strange. They take another city, which is kind of close, and they connect it with a straight line. So yeah, it's weird. If you can't tell, I'm trying to make these borders very extravagant. Anyway, with the Dark Scion team's defeat, they of course have to move their capital city somewhere else, and uh, they're going to be moving it over here to the east. Still keeping it on the trade route road, um, but further away from the green team, which just kind of, you know smack them around so now when we zoom out we see a very large green team which is slightly terrifying because this map looks very green over here maybe i'll change that soon but back to the dark cyan team who is i guess relevant all of a sudden the effect of the invasion and the war effort overall is not too good they just recently expanded up north and uh well they lose all of that land right away they don't have the funds they don't have the money to really hold on so they just have to let it go this green team over here takes advantage of it and takes a little bit of land from them as well but through the war and destruction new land Life is born and their capital city interestingly enough is right down here and that's because it goes right through the trade route so it's a little bit risky um probably not a good move but you know they want that trade route money so that's what they're gonna do and the dark sign team really kind of like is still not doing so well from this war so just to make it worse for them because i'm like evil or something apparently they're gonna lose the southern part of their country as well and uh, this breaks off and forms into its own nation. Of course, not without the scavengers on the outside getting in and taking some land. So the pink team takes a little bit, as does the green team. Map update looks something like this, capitals included. And now we can talk about the colonization of America. So, um, if you haven't guessed already, the country that will be discovering America is none other than the Dutch team. Now, it's really interesting to think about because if you know you look at this map you'll see that all the powers are kind of like on the inner circle of europe and there's a lot of weak countries on the outside of europe where you know colonization took place in real life by britain by france spain and of course portugal as well so now we know why the brown team actually invaded this tiny country right here it's because they wanted to have a coastal area because they want to explore west now this isn't some kind of ottoman situation where you know they were kind of um holding europe away from this I, whoa they weren't holding europe away from the spice trade with india that's not why this is happening the red team is pretty fair about its trade routes they wanted to do this more so of curiosity which actually makes more sense than it does in real life you know if you think about it humans are very curious so obviously they want to know what's over there right easier trade route what you don't even know what's happening over here why would you <laughs> it's just stupid stuff right anyway a man by the name of don klausman will go ahead and set sail out from the brown country dutch land netherlands big netherlands and he will sail north ish and uh well storms kind of yeah ocean storms happen a lot and his trajectory is changed and he discovers these islands here not a part of the plan but they will take it so they use these islands as kind of a base to go back and forth for a few more weeks until they are able to continue their voyage the storm kind of left a bad effect on them they lost some people but on a clearer day they set out from these islands and continue their journey over west and find a whole bunch of ocean in fact um most of the crew wanted to go home and at a point over here it was like yo if you don't turn this boat around we're gonna shoot you and then ahoy land ho so uh don klossman will go ahead and discover florida unfortunately that's right you know no no such thing as hispaniola that's not the first thing discovered it's actually florida and they set up a colony here and they all die yeah they don't really last long um i mean they don't all die it's more of hey guys i'll be back i'm gonna go back to uh, the netherlands Ooh, an island i'm gonna go back to the netherlands and inform everybody of this you guys just hold out we'll be right back so you know they go back you know they resupply on this island and then go back over here like hey everyone there's a whole bunch of land over here and uh, we think it's East Asia, but we don't know because there's no one there. And everyone's like, okay, hey, everyone, I found a route over here to uh, East Asia. So yeah, now Europe knows about this new land over here that is probably East Asia. So from there, they set out on a second voyage to, you know, uh, link back up with everyone over here and everyone's dead and gone luckily this time though they brought about four ships so there's more people more people means more land to take and more land to take means uh sustainability so they do a pretty good job at exploring a little bit of florida until they figure out that they don't actually want to be here and they just leave no i'm just kidding but realistically that's what would happen very quickly the focus of the world shifts away from asia and over towards the land over here 
thinking that it's East Asia and maybe a quicker way to get to places like Korea and Japan. What they figure out though, is that this is indeed not East Asia. Number one, because there's literally nobody here. And number two, because Japan said, hey, you're not here. And then these Chinese countries are like, we're not here either. We checked on Taiwan, there's no one there. There's no one in Korea, no one in the Philippines. As far as we know, there's no one down here. So where are you? So after a few years, more and more of the Southeast of the United States is mapped out until it's eventually figured out that this is indeed not East Asia and instead a whole new continent. Realizing the opportunity they have to extract resources from this area, the uh, Dutch country will go ahead and set up a colony in Northern Florida slash Southern Georgia. And some of these big countries want to get in on some of that land. The only issue is that they're all located on the inside of the Mediterranean. The red team uses the new land as motivation to push its people to fund themselves a new colonial campaign to, uh, you know, make their way to the ocean so they can go there. Yeah, that doesn't really set well with the population of the red team, who's kind of, you know, like, wait, war again? So, uh, yeah, they slowly but surely get that war uh, aspiration to go up. The purple team does something very similar, and they launch an attack on the green team over here in France. This does not go very well. Uh, you might think that it would, but the uh, the purple team really struggles with this one. They do, I mean, they win. But that is not to say that there are some setbacks along the way and some questioning by the populace of like, you know, are we actually capable or what's happening? After a few more weeks of fighting, the purple team is able to rebound themselves and push deeper into the center territory of the green team until they eventually have to stop due to just you know the civilian population threatening to overthrow the government nothing too serious i don't know what it's like for you guys but on my monitor like this is like super trippy to look at it's messing with my eyes i think or maybe it's just glitching out i'm actually not sure but the purple team is pushing into the area over here and obviously it wants to get over here to the new america con continent that they just discovered so iberia is put on high alert the thing about iberia though is that uh one of these countries the dark cyan country is in an alliance with the triangle squad which if you remember the triangle squad and the purple squad or i guess the star squad they have a little bit of beef. They only fought two Punic Wars, you know, nothing too serious. So the purple team prepares to go into its former old colony self, the dark purple area over here, as it hopes to hopefully just push up through there and use the Bay Biscay to get out of Europe. Of course, this is made known, obviously, by the fact that there's a bunch of troops on the border, and the dark purple team will join in an alliance. The question is, which alliance? They have two to choose from. The Triangle Squad or the Diamond Squad. The Diamond Squad is mostly over here in Eastern Europe, so if you think about it, they wouldn't get much help. Um, they would just have to hope that they are able to pull out a victory so that they are liberated in a peace treaty because uh, they would probably get ran over. Whereas the Triangle Squad is more local. So what they're going to do is that they are going to join the Triangle Squad. Here I am talking about colors and shapes. I never thought I would be an educator. Anyway, Purple Team and Triangle Squad, good for them. Not so good for the war that's about to break out because Purple Team troops have entered into the Dark Purple Country. I just realized there's a big X over here. That's not good. This means that I'm going to have to undo a lot. How much do I have to undo? Not too much. Anyway, before we get to that war stuff, which we're not, let's talk about Britain because borders are always changing in Britain. All right, first off, the uh, purple team has pulled a magic rabbit out of their hat and they have taken the capital of the lime country which essentially shatters it um it doesn't last much longer after that as the yellow team swoops in on this opportunity they do survive however as the purple team runs out of manpower and they relocate their capital down south into cornwall seeing this as a prime opportunity to jump the gold team which has all their troops down south we see something unheard of in britain collaboration the blue and purple team work together to jump the gold team to the best of their ability of course and it actually goes extremely well the gold team is kind of caught off guard by this and they are eventually forced to surrender as their capital city is being threatened however despite the surrender gold team troops in the south take advantage of this situation and start to expand slightly until eventually they finally receive the order to stop but by that time it's too late as they've already kind of scorched a few villages and off the few people yeah so i mean there's a little bit of skirmish after this even though they were told not to fight anymore and it is eventually settled but just not in a good way because the armies lay claim to a pretty large um county slash province slash village area and it's within the yellow team's borders so we have some more disgustingness over here lovely it's fine though it'll probably sort itself out in the next video for being honest see if i can make this worse i don't know if that's worse it just kind of looks weird now okay there we go that looks semi-natural 
in the least natural way possible. All right, so, uh, you know, that collaboration, it ends. The blue team is attacked by the orange team and the purple team doesn't help them out. So the orange team is just gonna take what they can get while they can. And that actually is quite a bit of land. So the resurgence of the Northern orange team is much uh, applauded by me. The blue team is kind of in danger. In fact, all these countries are in danger. All of their capitals, except for the orange team, are right on the border of another country. So yeah, uh, hostilities in Britain, lovely, right? But now I'm hearing that there's a foreign power that's kind of influencing some of the decisions over here, so we could see something change in the next episode. Why in the next episode? Because I have ran out of time. I didn't actually run out of time, but just don't want this video to be too long because I like to keep these civilization videos short and sweet so we can keep the series going for as long as possible. So yeah, like I said in the beginning of this video, we're gonna see some colonization of America. And we got the, uh, we got, I guess, the appetizer for that. In the next episode, we'll be seeing a lot more colonization as more countries will attempt to get over there. I also do want to say that there are no Native Americans in these continents. In real life, of course, the Native Americans crossed over the Bering Strait thousands of years ago and inhabited the Northern American and Southern American continents. And then from there, the Ice Age ended. They were unable to go back to Asia, and thus they were stranded over here until the uh, Europeans came over and started killing them. Europe moment. But in this situation, there was... Well, I mean, there was an Ice... Was there an Ice Age? See, I don't know if we're also following Earth history. Are we following geological history? Because that means that there's going to be things like, you know, um, Pompeii, and... Well, that would have already happened by now. But, like, Pompeii... Um, other things like the the little ice age the 2012 tsunami would be an interesting one but we're not anywhere near the 2000s so my point is that humanity never crossed the Bering Strait all those years ago and that's because they never actually got to this part of Russia just yet for the sake of closure though I do want to say that these areas were discovered they uh just were never like you know fully colonized because there's really no point in doing so so yes humanity is getting better at conquering into the cold however they're not fully there yet as there are still a few areas up north they can discover but the general census is that they know that the land eventually ends up here and that there is water so yeah anyway thank you guys once again for watching and i'll catch you guys all in the next episode and of course, thank you to all the super fans. This includes Kylie Speaks Plays, German Edits, A Random Guy, Patrick Clauser, Life Lamau, JB Country Ball 12, Frias Friaza, Hammer Toad 45, CTG Canada Flag, Poland Country Ball, Nevada Garbage Trucks, Yakko, DW Cool Dude, and Terminator. Thank you guys.